you just try to open your website and found this error on a blank screen i know you have a lot of questions right now what is this why did it happen how can you fix it quickly and how can you prevent it from happening again don't worry this video will answer all of your doubts if you're new here welcome my name is julian and i put out weekly tutorials and tips to boost your website performance let's begin This error happens when your site is unable to connect to its database because of a few different issues. I'll show you how to troubleshoot and fix each of them. The quickest and easiest way to regain your site is to just restore it from a recent backup. You can click on the video above to see how to restore your site whether you have a manual backup or a plugin backup. If you don't have a recent backup or you just realize that your backup is not good enough for a full restore, then please check out our backup plugin blog world because it will definitely save you from such situations. It's used by a billion websites and has a 100% guaranteed restores. You can get a free trial by checking the link in the description. Now, to fix this issue in the present, let's get a solution for the most common reason for this error, which is incorrect database credentials. To fix this, you'll need an FTP client to access your database. Here's how you do it. Check your hosting dashboard to find your FTP credentials like your server IP or host name, username and password. Then install an FTP client. I'm using FileZilla, but there are other popular ones out there as well. Once you're connected to the server, look in the core WordPress folders for the public HTML folder. Then double click on the wp-config.php file to download it. Open this file in a text editor on your system. We have to now look for this piece of code. These are your database credentials. Keep this open and come back to your browser. Now we need to find the database credentials in your web host. Depending on your host, you'll find the database credentials in different places. I'll be using cPanel. After entering it, select MySQL databases in the database section. This will lead you to a page with all the credentials. Scroll to the current database section and you should find your database name and user name. Scroll further down to the current user section and check the password. If you cannot view it, you may have to set another one altogether. Then compare the code to the credentials you just found and make the corrections to your wp-config.php file like I'm showing you here. Finally, once you've made the changes, save it to your computer and upload it to your server using your FTP client. At this point, you can check if your site is backup. If your site is not backup, then the next likely cause of this error is that your WordPress files have been corrupted by a hack, malware, user error or hardware issues. Check the link in description for our free security plugin Malcare because it will help prevent such a situation for you in the future. To repair your site right now, you have to download the correct WordPress files from wordpress.org and replace the existing corrupt files. Here's how to do it. In your FTP client, click on your WP includes folder. Look for a file called version.php and open it. Press Ctrl plus F and type this in it. Once you find it, the number on the right is your WordPress version. Then open another tab and type in this URL. Find your WordPress version here and then download the corresponding files to your local computer. It should be downloaded as a zip file, which can be unzipped once it's on your device. Now open the root folder. Upload all the new files and folders except the wp-config file and the wp-content folder. And check to see if your site is back. Now if you had seen a specific error like this, it means your database has gotten corrupted. Skip to the next fix in the next section if you did see the specific error because I'll be now explaining how to fix it. The solution here is to edit your wp-config file using an FTP client. Here's how you do it. Use your application credentials and an FTP client to connect to your server. Once you're connected to the server, look in the core WordPress folders for the public HTML folder. Then double click on the wp-config.php file to download it. Add the following piece of code after the last line. Upload the edited wp-config file back to your root folder and click continue when prompted to override. Run the repair by typing in the following URL in your browser. Just replace your domain with your actual domain. Click repair database and give it some time. This will automatically repair your database by searching for common errors. Once done, check to see if your site is back to normal. If the error is still not gone, it can be because of faulty plugins and themes as well. Installing an incompatible or buggy plugin or theme can stop your website from connecting to the database and loading the site. We can confirm if this is indeed the case by going to your root folder, opening the WP content folder and finding the plugins and themes folder. Now, first rename your plugins folder by adding the word deactivate to it and check your site. If the site is back up, it means that it is indeed a plugin that's triggering this error. If the site is still down, then rename your folder back to plugins and go rename the themes folder to deactivate themes. 
If your site is back up, it means that a theme file is causing this issue. If your site is still down, then there's no problem with your plugins and themes. And after renaming your themes folder, you should skip to the next section. If either your plugins or themes did cause this error, then I'll show you a process to fix this. This process remains the same for both plugins and themes. So I'll show you how to do it with the plugins folder. And you can do the same thing to the themes folder if that was the culprit. Let's begin. Open your plugins folder. Rename all individual plugin folders by adding deactivate to it. Then activate them one by one by removing the extra word. When your site goes down, it means you've caught the culprit. But because multiple plugins can cause this, you should continue the process to catch any other incompatible plugins out there. When the process is over, your bad plugins will be deactivated and the normal ones will be active. You can roll back the bad plugins to a previous version or find an alternative to them. If you don't know how to do a rollback, just check the article in the description for help. If your plugins are not causing this issue, then now we can repeat the same process with your themes folder. If this error was not caused by a problematic plugin or theme, then it's very possible that the issue is in the hosting provider. Your database host information may be incorrect or your database server may be down due to heavy traffic. Just write to your web host asking if either this or any other issue is causing this error on your site. All good WordPress hosting companies will help you troubleshoot the problem, point you in the right direction or even fix it for you. Now, before we end this video, it's really, really important that you do these three things to prevent this error from happening again. And here's one last helpful tip for you. Would you like the power to remove any malware from any type of site? Watch this video to find out how. Hit that like button if this video helped you. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I will see you again next week.